Hi guys, my name is Yurdanka. Welcome to my channel. Today I would like to do an orange inspired makeup because, first of all, I really want to work more with Pricked palette by Jeffree Star Cosmetics uh, and as well summer is coming, the weather is getting warm I'm really happy about this because I've been waiting for this heat wave for so long uh, this year and uh, I was thinking let's do that kind of uh, really warm positive uh, vibe and orange is like the most positive color in my opinion very happy color uh, but as well I want to to have this sense of uh, summer sunsets this kind of a summer haze uh, you know this happiness but as well as uh, uh, peacefulness that comes in summer because people are really happy uh, about the sunshine and I feel this with like this kind of <laughs> I don't know guys do you like when you hear a word do you see colors do you when do you have these feelings in colors when I hear uh, letters I see them in colors for example the word mama mother for me is in red M is in red A is uh, a, the English A to me it sounds like blue but the Bulgarian my native language A to me it's very light white I, I, I just like uh, uh, have this tendency to see things in colors and uh, this is uh, summer peacefulness I always see it in a specific yellowish orange color maybe because it's hot and the sun is strong but I really, I really feel it like this color, uh, sliver of sanity, that kind of uh, yellowish, but not like a lemon yellow, but more like a, an orange okra yellow. So I would like to do a look today is part of those shades. So if you are interested, keep on watching. Uh, so on my face I have foundation, concealer, uh, bronzing powder and I've done with the powder my eyebrows. Uh, on my eyelids I have only foundation. I will start so with the JS9 uh, brush with natural fibers. I will start with forged this orange deep orange matte color and I will apply it all over my eyelid so this color goes a little bit more like a red a red orange at this point I stop and I will dip into papaya latex into this orange color but very specific orange color I take a smaller brush JS6 but it but it is also with uh, natural fibers so this color, by latex, it's going to be uh, like a transition color towards my skin. And right now with the Sharpie, I will apply Forged, the deep red. I will apply it on my lower eyelid. And in the inner corner, I will do papaya latex, just to give it a little bit the sense of transition and movement. And right now, I will cut a crease with the concealer. 
I'm taking just 10 uh, flat uh, brush with synthetic fibers and uh, cutting the crease and right now with another uh, brush with synthetic fibers but a larger one JS11 I'm applying sliver of sanity over the concealer okay guys do this look like a sunset to you to me it doesn't still look like a sunset uh, so I'm taking JS6 and I'm dipping into um, Slice Me Open this reddish deep brown color and I'm applying it in the inner in the outer corner I just want to give a little bit more depth of the look. Okay, I really like it like this. Uh, I will not do any kind of shimmers or like I really like to work only with mattes and create a whole picture without using the effects of shimmers. But shimmers, shimmers are really good when you are in a hurry for an everyday makeup. Uh, so, right now I will uh, do my other eye, I will apply uh, mascara, eyeliner, I will do false eyelashes, I will do Ardell Double Up because they are in orange and today everything is in orange and uh, I will be back with you. Hi, my both eyes are ready and right now I will do the highlighter. Of course I'm doing a warm uh, highlighter <laughs> and I'm doing 24 karat Skin Frost Pro Palette and uh, I was thinking for my eyes for the inner corner to do Dark Horse this very beautiful warm shade maybe I will do a little bit of it on my cheekbones as well uh, so I'm taking JS13 I'm dipping into Dark Horse and I'm applying it in my inner corner wow wow so this is a dark shade but it really works with oranges a dark shade for me for my skin tone okay so now with uh, JS4 the highlighter brush. I'm dipping a little bit into Dark Horse very subtle and I'm applying it on my cheekbones above the bronzing powder I just want to give it a touch of a gold yes And actually it works, I was thinking to do King Tut as a highlighter, but right now I see that uh, Dark Horse really works with this look. So I'm staying on 
the dark horse and that's really nice of the of the human skin that actually when you have a tan in the summer you can apply quite darker shades for the highlight well okay I'm doing a little bit on my nose as well and I really like that kind of deep warm colors and right now I will do uh, the lips maybe this is the most difficult part for me for this look because I wasn't uh, really sure if I want light lips uh, in a core shade or li like I would like to keep it more warm the whole look and that's why I chose uh, one of my fav favorite uh, shades for the summer watermelon soda in velvet trap actually I think that uh, right now when I'm looking at this I'm like uh, at this look I'm a little bit like uh, maybe it's too much but uh, honestly I have never seen such a uh, such a look online uh, people usually try to do like uh, uh, looks that look normal or they go really into some kind of fantasy world uh, when it comes to the eyes doing cut creases, rhinestones uh, sometimes I'm wondering why don't they like do a drawing because that's not the idea in my opinion of makeup makeup for me makeup should produce a whole impression a whole look uh, not only like the eye uh, as if it's a plain surface and you're trying to do some kind of a composition so that's why I will keep this look because I've never seen something like this online I think this could inspire people to do like to be more brave or just to do something different to try something different mm, because usually watermelon soda is like the warmest shade that I wear and right now, right now compare with those really warm eyes it looks on the core side uh, and I just like it on the other hand I was trying to give this really warm sweet uh, summer sunset look and I think that I uh, to a certain extent I managed uh, to do it yeah, I think that I'm giving uh, some kind of a uh, uh, sunset vibes. <laughs> okay, guys, enough with the justification of my art. Uh, thank you for being here with me. I hope you enjoyed uh, this video and I hope to see you again. So this is the look. Bye-bye.